My name is Stan Bokov. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of TradingView. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what we've created here and uh, why it may be useful to you. So what you see in front of you right now is the front page of the site. It's created with HTML5, which is part of the reason we were able to bring the technology that we wanted to into this web project. Uh, there's a short intro video here. Uh, I'm not going to click it now, but it kind of gives you a bit of an idea behind the site. The site in general is uh, its a place for investors and traders to meet with like-minded people and use our online tools to uh, learn from other traders based on the ideas that they present. You can see their ideas presented by other traders. You also get to look at real-time charts that we created uh, using HTML5 and real-time market data. And after you ingest some of those ideas and you create some of your own analysis, you can share your opinions and charts with other people and get feedback. And that's basically it. We are not selling you any investment advice. We're not uh, interested in what goes up, what goes down. So it's a completely unbiased place. And uh, it's just an opportunity to further your knowledge about the markets because it, they do affect us every day. Uh, you know, there are things in the news every day about what's going up, what's going down. If you invest, if you want to learn, there's a great learning tool. If you're just, you know, what is the stock market or what is the forex market? You can kind of not only read about it like you can on books or forums. You can actually uh, touch it, play with it, feel it, uh, and do your own analysis for free on the web. So that's another key point that we wanted to do is not uh, take people away from the complicated software and, and just uh, give an online tool. So... Uh, the main functionality is here. If you go to the chart, if you go to a chart, uh, that's basically it. It's a web chart. And charts, they may look simple, but they're, they're rather very complex to create. So you, you not only have to understand the programming side of it, how to create all these bars and data and back and forth, you also have to know the financial background of it, what makes a good chart. We have that expertise because we make a, for 10 years we've been making standalone professional trading software. So we kind of took that knowledge and we brought it onto the web. So on here, uh, you see a search. You can search for any symbol that you like, for example, Google or Microsoft. It's actually telling me MSFT is the ticker. So Microsoft. So we'll go for Apple. In this case, so just click enter, boom, Apple pops up. So this is very simple, very kind of intuitive. Uh, at the bottom, you can switch the time frame. The time frame is how long uh, the chart is looking. So right now we're at one day. So each candle is a one is a day. It tells you where the price is, how they've gone over the past years. You can look at a shorter time frame, one hour, to see how the prices have changed throughout the day. So you can see this is the 19th, the 21st, the 23rd. Prices have gradually been increasing. Uh, shorter time frames, like 15 minutes, you know, uh, but mostly one day for kind of longer term things. Uh, so you have a chart. Now you can compare it to see, for example, how uh, Apple has performed compared to the leading 500. Uh, companies in the U.S. economy tracked by the S&P 500. So you can see that Apple has been doing better. So that might tell you something. It's a good idea or a bad idea to invest. So there's all sorts of comparisons available. Indicators. Indicators are particular ways to analyze the market that have been popularized by investors and traders. We didn't make this up. This is just popular tools that people like to track and watch and make decisions based on these tools. So we don't tell you specifically what they are at this point. We'll expand that. You can search it up on Investopedia or Wikipedia. Uh, but all you got to do to apply one of these tools and see how it goes is to click it and boom, it appears right on the chart. 
So you get the values and you can make your calls. Uh, Elliott Wave is a pop is a popular one. So you just click it, it appears on the web on the charts. All the computing is done on our server, so we just kind of show you the quick result. Uh, these are drawing tools for something that's called for just visual analysis. For example, you may want to draw, uh, there's different pitchforks available, for example, the, or Fibonacci, that's another popular one, or Gone Squares and Fans. So a pitchfork would, for example, say one, two, and this might indicate a particular uh, direction of where the price is going to go based on these three points. You can definitely add text comments. For example, I think Apple is going only up. Press OK. That's it. And um, the last cool tool that I want to show is this forecast tool. So this really adds to the ability to see how people's predictions went and whether you're correct or wrong, which is the essential part of training and learning more about the markets. So you can actually make a forecast that it just drag it to the particular time and day and the price that you feel is going to go. And so I think it's going to increase by 4.5% in 14 days. So just click it. And when the time comes, the chart will, the chart will auto-populate each day. It'll continue filling in the bars. So it's not a static picture like everything else on the web right now. And it'll tell you if you're right or wrong, essentially. So it adds to that transparency, the credibility of different experts out there that may be posting, um, you know, a picture and say, oh, I think it's going to go up. But then you never actually see the results unless you do some specific background checks and so on and so forth. So this is there. So. We are completely for openness, transparency, and if predictions are good, you may want to follow that person or ask them questions or learn from them. If predictions are bad or the analysis is bad, you may not follow that person as much. And how do you know who to follow? You go to the ideas section. These are recently posted, recently published, or they're popular ideas. So as you can see, people do some pretty extensive drawings and uh, this is the euro usd so forex markets so this person has drawn a whole bunch of lines and from what i can see that they forecast it down uh, there are some comments at the bottom and other people can comment on it as well with chart responses so just like that a cool feature that makes this site different from the other ones that had just post static pictures. You can click the load new bars, and you can see that two new bars popped up. If the more time goes on, the more bars will pop up. So you can actually see what, if whether what they predicted is correct. The different people that have joined, they're ranked according to the number of followers that they have, which may indicate that their analysis is uh, regarded higher by the community. And this person, uh, Tim West, is at the top. He's got 86 followers. And the rest here. Mm, if you want to save your analysis or publish charts that you create, you may want to sign in or join if you haven't created an account yet. Super simple. You just choose one of the existing... Um, most people have one of these logins, so you just choose one of the existing ones. Uh, it'll authorize, boom, I'm in the system now. And you can see that I have some saved charts, some published charts. Uh, so I can look at my, change my profile around. Uh, these are my saved charts. So I had a chart back in the day. Each chart has a unique link. So let's say, as you can see, I was way off in my prediction here. Uh, based on my different analysis. Each chart has a unique link, and I can take this link and copy it, just copy it and send it to a friend. And the friend can just click the link, and it'll open up this chart. So it, it's great for just, you know, working together, which is what we're trying to do. Uh, traders have been regarded in the past as kind of individual 
people uh, with a, perhaps uh, in a cutthroat industry that one wins and other loses, so kind of solitary, mm, solitary perception. So that has kind of been, we're changing that because everything is very social and people learn and become better by sharing with each other and helping each other. So the, sh the sharing and social aspect is the core to the entire website. And we've made sharing easy, hopefully. We're going to continue to make it easier. So this is to share an individual chart with somebody to get some feedback or show something cool. Uh, you, you can publish this idea. You can publish it in two ways. You can publish a snapshot, basically what it is now, and that's it. For example, a cool setup or an opportunity for a good trade. Or you can publish a real-time chart. And this is really cool. There is nothing like that anywhere on the web right now because the technology is only a year old and we've been developing it for a year. Where on any site or any forum, instead of taking a screenshot, saving it, posting it, and giving somebody just a snapshot, you can publish a real-time chart in an iframe. So you embed it into the site, into the forum, and the chart will keep updating in that site. People don't have a need to come to... Uh, to us to show market data. So essentially, you can show live stocks and Forex anywhere in the web if you like. You create a chart, add some tags, add a description. You can publish it to our gallery. If you think it has good commentary or if it's just some for something else, you can choose to remove it from the gallery. And you can repost it to Twitter. Uh, a lot of people like to do that because they've got followers and to share. Or you can automatically repost it to StockTwits, which is um, an online community that kind of it, it you considered sort of a channel on a general Twitter television specifically for traders and investors for stocks. Uh, so if you're part of that community, you can post only there or Twitter. And once you click Publish, uh, it goes to uh, to those sources. Okay, um, and that's kind of the core of the site. We are constantly improving and adding. It's still considered a beta, so we're always looking for feedback. Uh, we get feedback on if you would go to home. Uh, there's a whole, there's a place called Get Satisfaction that we use. Uh, free stock charts, chart widget. We'll mention that as well. Community powered support. So it's a place called Get Satisfaction where people can ask us questions, make suggestions. So we're definitely open and listening to these things uh, because uh, essentially it is for the people. It has, it is free. It will always be free. And uh, soon we're going to be adding more data. Eventually, trying to cover the entire world, making it useful for lots of people. And lastly, I want to show for people that uh, just want the data without any analysis or anything like that. It's a free chart widget. So widget means if you want to, if you want, if you've got a website or a blog and you want to show live, for example, Forex data. So you go to Euro USD. It's a popular one, especially now. So it's like I want my visitors to always see uh, the Euro USD symbol. There we go. And you can see the code was automatically updated to reflect that. All you got to do is copy and paste this code into your blog, forum, or website, and boom, this chart appears. Uh, we don't charge anything, um, and uh, that's it. It's just for helping share the information. So we're hoping eventually this technology will catch up on bigger sites like Yahoo and so on and so forth because the tickers we're going to be adding tickers too. It's those flashing numbers with the names of what's going up, what's going down. Some people like that. The people that know the history and the context. Other people need the context of a chart to see what the trends are, if it's going up or down. I myself like a chart better, so uh, for uh, I'm hoping the bigger portals will start showing people the charts as opposed to just